बिस्मिल्लाम्स वेलकम बैक टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ फुटबॉल कप शब प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू दिस चैनल एज वेल एज प्रेस बल बटन आइकॉन सो यू कैन रिसीव नोटिफिकेशन फॉर द लेटेस्ट एपिसोड सो लेट्स स्टार्ट टू दिस एपिसोड वी हैव स्टार्टेड न्यू सीरीज कॉल वॉट इफ ट्रांसफर्स वे वी लुक एट द क्लब एंड सी वट प्लेस डू द नीड एंड हाउ मच बट इट इज रिक्वायर्ड इन ऑर्डर टू एक्वायर दो प्लेस वी विल सी वट डू दैव एट प्रेजेंट एंड विच एरियाज डू दे रिक्वायर स्ट्रेंथनिंग वील लुक एट पोटेंशियल टारगेट्स एंड सी इफ द रिस्पेक्टिव क्लब कैन एक्वायर दम सो वी विल अलॉट दम स्पेसिफिक बजट एंड सी इफ इट वर्क In this fourth part of the series, have you seen the thumbnail? We'll be taking a look at Tottenham. We will try to allot them about 170 million, as they can sell the likes of Kane and Dombele, Lo Celso, and Winks. Uh, Tottenham are currently chasing the top four in the Premier League. Tottenham have a very strong squad, and with Conte uh, as their head coach, they're improving quite extensively. It won't be a surprise if we see Tottenham challenging for the title next season. They have many good players, but they require better players uh, if the squad and the team want to compete with the likes of Liverpool and City. We're going to go through the Tottenham squad. Uh, Loris, Bellini, Austin, Romero, Sanchez, Dier, Tanganga, Rodon, Regulon, Davies, Emerson, Doherty, Skip, Winks, Hodgeberg, Bentancur, Sesenio, Sun, Bergwijn, Kulusevski, Mora, Harry Kane, and Dombele. Gil Lo Celso Looking at it the area it seems that Tottenham squad are at a point where they will have to decide on few issues such as what to do with Harry Kane uh, will he leave will any big club come for him will they make a big but, uh, money bid for him and if he's sold then who does replace him will they go out and buy someone else uh, will they make son as a talisman or will they look into the ac- academy and uh, get someone such as Troy Parrott uh, they also have to have a look at their full back in terms of uh, right back especially uh, Emerson who hasn't lived up to the bill they also require a world class center back uh, in they intend to play with three center backs uh, midfield is an area where they'll need more attention because many players will be leaving and Dombele alongside Lo Celso have failed wings will be leaving soon so that means only Bentancur Hodgeberg and Skip are the only uh, midfield players in uh, the whole squad so we will address these points and choose players in order to solve these points we'll start with the goalkeeper everybody knows that Loris is approaching to an end and he's still good but there need to be a replacement in defense the area that it needs looking into is right back position um as well as the center back in midfield as we've mentioned earlier that two signings in dombele lo celso haven't worked links will be sold as well as for the striker position everybody knows that this summer transfer window if tottenham do sell kane then this should be a replacement and he'll be the key in order to finance all these transfers So here are the personnel we have shortlisted for Tottenham to target for these six positions: goalkeeper, right back, centre back, central defensive midfielder, uh, midfielder, and either either of these three: attacking midfielder, centre forward, or a striker. In goalkeeper position, we have targeted Nick Pope. Nick Pope he plays as a goalkeeper for Burnley. He has played 28 matches in this season. He has conceded 38 goals and acquired seven clean sheets. He makes 88, uh, 85 saves in total. He displays a save ratio of 69.1. For right back, we have targeted Leveramento from uh, Southampton. He's a very attacking uh, fullback. He has played 25 matches. He has scored a goal and provided one assist. He has made total of 27 tackles, a success ratio of 50.9%. We have shortlisted uh, Devrich for the centre back position. We believe that he would be the perfect candidate to play in Conte team, as he has already done it for him at Inter Milan. He could be the world class centre back for Conte. For midfield, we have targeted two players. Uh, for CM, we have targeted Florian Grillis, who plays uh, as a midfielder for Hoffenheim in Germany. He has played 18 matches, and he has made around 1,045 passes in total, with an accuracy of 89.4 percent. Second one is a defensive midfielder. For that, we have chosen Leslie Uguchukwu. Uh, I'm sorry for the pronunciation. Uh, Leslie, he plays as a midfielder for Rennes. In Ligue 1, he has played 14 matches. He has scored one goal. He has attempted 200 uh, passes with an accuracy of 88.6 percent. Now comes the most important part of the striker. If Harry Kane leaves, then uh, Tottenham could look into three positions, which is an attacking midfielder, or a centre forward, or a striker. For attacking midfielder, we have chosen a very, a very obvious candidate in the name of Eriksen, who could be the perfect like-to-like replacement for Kane. As we know that for last three years Kane position is switched from 9 to number 10. So Rickson will be the perfect candidate if they need to replace Harry Kane. 
And if they don't want an attacking midfielder, they could choose a centre forward such as Depay, who would be the perfect candidate. He can play as a false nine. He can play on the left wing. Him and Son can switch positions. He has done that at Lyon and Barcelona. He is also doing the similar uh, kind of thing at uh, Netherlands in his national team. He has matured since the days of United, so he'll uh, be a very good player for Spurs. And if neither attacking midfielder or a centre forward is priority, then they could target Lautaro Martinez uh, of Inter Milan. He'll be the perfect candidate for Kane replacement. He has already played for Conte in Inter Milan, so Conte knows him, and it will be much easier for Lautaro to blend in Spurs. Uh, Conte philosophy. Fans will be happy uh, too. In terms of pricing, Pope will cost between uh, 10 to 15 million. As for Livermento, he will cost between 25 to 30. As for De Rich, he will cost around 25 because he has only one year remaining. Florian will cost around 15 million. Uh, Leslie will cost around 5 to 10 million. If Spurs go for Ericsson, then he'll cost nothing as he'll be a free agent. Whereas Depay will cost at least 30 to 35 million. Lotoro will cost between 65 to 70 million in total it will cost you could say if they go with Depay then it will be 125 million and if they go for La Toro instead of Depay then it would cost them around 180 185 million to acquire all these players so folks hopefully you would have loved what if transferred episode of Tottenham please subscribe to the channel press the like button and do give your suggestions in the comment section also do press the bell button icon so you could receive notifications for the latest episode and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.